I'm just going to take a quick video here of my 1994 Chevy C1500. Short bed, two wheel drive, 350 throttle body injected, low rider, it's got a 4.6 drop on it, 20 inch American racing wheels. Real reason why I want to take this video more than anything is right now it's got 150,000 miles on it. And in the last month, or about 1,000 miles, done a lot of work to it uh, just to do a lot of maintenance. Um, just so I'm good for a long time here, or if I do take and sell this thing, I um, just kind of want to go over it shoot a quick video let people know what's been done to it so first of all um, going through the rear end I did uh, new gear oil in the rear end um, transmission filter uh, and fluid, I did a full flush, pulled the um, transmission lines, uh, transmission cooler lines off and uh, actually purged the system. Um, engine oil filter, of course. Um, did a brand new fuel pump, the whole fuel pump, sending unit, the whole deal in the tank. Um, wasn't that old, probably 30, 40,000 miles since the drop was put in it because it's c-notch and stuff like that so we had the bed off so um but i figured you know what i'm just going to put a new pump on it uh fuel pump new fuel filter and then i took in uh did new plugs wires distributor cap rotor um i got new coolant sending switch and relay in it uh new fuel pump relay in it uh, what else do I have? Um, new power steering gearbox, new power steering pump, um, new water pump, um, brake rotors and pads up front, uh, brand new drums and, and shoes in the back, new shocks all the way around, um, Brand new 25% tent, uh, carbon tent on it. Um, brand new stereo. Uh, it's, it's a 400 watt uh, powered um, head unit. So it's 100 watts per channel for four channels. Actually uh, comes out to 42 RMS, 42 watts RMS. Um, per speaker, which is pretty good uh, for a head unit. And then I also got a 10-inch uh, kicker, uh, kicker Comp S 10-inch sub um, with a MTX Thunder 500 um, mono amp for the subwoofer. Um, four new Sony Explode speakers in it. So that sounds pretty decent. Um, other than that, uh, you know, it's all professionally detailed by me, of course. You know, the other thing it has uh, is uh, new bump stops. I, I put some progressive bump stops in the back, which is actually uh, their foam. Uh, so they, when they do uh, touch between the C-notch part of the frame and the actual axle housing, they... Uh, slow down the rate as as it compresses and it, and it hits it uh, compresses slowly um, so it doesn't hit quite as hard when you hit those hard parts of the road um, I'm gonna fire it up here and pop open the hood let you guys hear this thing let's see and then it's got uh, flow master uh, dual chamber, um, single muffler, it dumps right before the rear axle, so here we go. You 
said the uh let's get a RTX mono, it's a class D mono block amp. And then excuse me for this. And it's got a 10 inch kicker. Comp S. Sub. The motor's all sock. It's got a three inch power hood on it. All steel. Steering box down here. Power steering lines, oil cooler lines, um, new coolant sending switch that that switch right here. That's for the uh, the actual gauge. The coolant uh, switch that basically tells the gauge how how warm the coolant is. sensor right here, that's for the uh, coolant also, the thermostat, power steering pump. The brake fluid is all bled and uh, branded brake fluid in there, of course, with the new power steering box and the pump that's all new fluid. Battery's new, perfect, and uh, the AC unit was pretty depleted, so I ended up uh, purging that system and I put new oil, uh, new uh, pump oil in there. and. Recharge the uh, refrigerant, so that's all good. Yeah, pretty clean truck for a '93, you know, or '94. I'm sorry, 23 years old. Professionally detailed by me. Clay barred it. Polished it with uh, McGuire's M205. Random orbital buffer, and I uh, wax it with 3D's HD epoxy. Uh, it's basically like a synthetic, um, synthetic wax or synthetic uh, sealant. And, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So it exhausts you.